Welcome back to Structure Fishing. I'm Jim Michelle. I've got another great tape here for you. This is uh, Buck Perry talking about how to read cloud cover, the weather conditions, some excellent, great information directly from the man, Buck Perry himself. Uh, this tape has uh, uh, been rarely seen, only been seen by a handful of people here. So this is a great tape. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. But some of them have a little problem reading the, reading the uh, cloud cover about after a cold front. So in this, in this series, this look at try to use the vapor trails as an aid in finding out the movements of the fish after a cold front. So this first slide is showing early in the morning that a, that a front is going through and uh, they, uh, you're getting a, uh, a washed out sky condition. It's just all blue, just nothing up there. If you look very close, you're going to see the moon up there, which is very uh, washed out. You can see the, even the, the mares and the, and the flats on the moon. Uh, now, when, when the, uh, this is washed out, a lot of times, most of the time, you can hear the planes flying upstairs, but you can't see them. They're very high. 30 or 40,000 feet, and you, you can hear them, but you, you really can't see them, but there's one. And uh, that rascal is, uh, was very hard for me to get a picture of him. But it's very clear, no trail, no nothing. And of course, the, in, under these conditions that front went through, uh, those fish are going to be, uh, it's going to go down into the, the deeper water and become very deep and very dormant. The first indication that there's a little change taking place is you're going to have the short contrails. In other words, they disappear pretty fast. You don't, uh, uh, they're quite, uh, quite short. Uh, it's not very much moisture up there. So these short ones, uh, I mean that uh, those fish, when they're in this condition, are still downstairs and very dormant. You start a little later, you start getting a long con trail, and of course this is, uh, this is, and you start getting a little high cirrus, just a little bit now, but this, this con trail is, is getting very long and staying there in a lot of instances. It don't, it's long, but pretty soon it disappears. So here again, uh, with this condition, you're not, uh, you're not having much moving the fish. It's still very inactive and very deep. And then pretty soon you're going to see these long ones start. Uh, this is a little long one, but this uh, contrail is starting to uh, uh, start to disappear. What happens? It's in streaks. It's because we're starting to get some moisture upstairs, but still we got that dry cold air up there too. You can see a little uh, uh, high, high cirrus start coming in. So it's running through, but the, you can see by the tail that uh, there are certain areas where it's very dry and cool, and then other areas where there's uh, quite a lot of moisture. So the moisture and the high cirrus is starting to come in. So these fish are going to start moving uh, uh, under this condition right here probably have to get back to St. Square and make one shallow movement up but uh, and then drop back. Then the, you're going to see them uh, getting longer, just staying a little bit longer and the, the conditions getting a little better and we're starting to uh, get a little more uh, uh, haze. But these will disappear as you see, but they're staying there pretty good. So uh, your fish are back in uh, the, probably back in the, uh, uh, maybe the sanctuary area, they, they, they've become an act to move back there. But uh, you, you're not quite there yet because you, 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 you see the contrails, they're still fading out a little bit, and, but you still got the, the not too much hot cirrus back there. So you're still in pretty bad shape. Uh, they, 
not too much movement, too very shallow. If it did any at all, it's going to be down deep and not for very long. Now about the first thing you see after, after the contrails do a little of that thumb, the first thing you're going to see is uh, snowballs. You, and many times right here, you can hear that, hear those planes upstairs, but you can't see them. And this is just about like the, the, uh, the first or second or third day after a cold front uh, with the cloud cover. But the, 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 you're still in pretty bad shape here. It's just uh, uh, things are not quite ripe yet. Then you're going to start seeing the snowballs, and then you're still going to see some contrails upstairs above these uh, low clouds, and you're going to see some of those contrails starting to spread out. They're going to stay, and which in them look like a, a high cirrus. Now the fish are getting in pretty good shape as soon as that, but they're still. Uh, you're not going to get no full movement by any means, but the fish are going to become shallow enough that you can get some action on them uh, when you see it. But the main thing is when these things start staying up there and they start just staying there and starting to, to, to uh, spread out, but they're still upstairs and they're spreading out some of them. In this case, you still got some mass of air that's not carrying too much moisture, but it's starting to move in. You're starting to start to get the high haze. The vapor trail is uh, spreading out a little bit, and they're just staying there. So we're back in the back in pretty good business as, as far as the cold front is concerned. Uh, we're starting to uh, fish starting to move pretty good. This is something that I always look for. And uh, when I'm looking at, uh, uh, but this is where a contrail is starting to spread. And this is a real key. It's staying there and starting to spread. This is a real key that we're starting to get back in business. Here's one that just spread all over the creation. I'm getting some high sears, some wind up there, but uh, uh, this uh, that originally was created by a uh, con, by uh, an airplane. It's a spread out contrail, contrail or uh, uh, vapor trail. Now we know we're in business pretty good. We, now it's spread all, it's starting to spread all over the area. It's staying there, they're getting solid, you're getting, it's starting to turn into a high series, and now we're getting up into where the fish are moving fairly shallow. We've already been in business now for, for uh, quite a while. Then, uh, is it, that's the same, uh, different, looking at it a little bit different, but do it. we're in business now. Those contrails are spread all over the place. We've got some high cirrus now. It's just about all become high cirrus because it's, uh, they're high. They have 30, 40,000 feet, some of them, and uh, they're starting to get that high cirrus. And so we're really in business. We're up there about that fourth day, so, but it, in this case, uh, uh, where your movements are becoming very good, you might get in two a day. Then it's getting darker. This is, uh, it looks like it, uh, it's a lot of stuff up there. It's, uh, some of the recent ones, some of the old ones are just spread all over. Some of the recent ones is just not getting started. Every time you look upstairs, you and uh, the contrails, you you see planes going every direction now. So pretty soon you begin to reach reach your contrails in your particular area. That's spreading more. And you got under the root of this thing was those uh, trails. And you see, it's just like the car car trouble stuff that we're talking about very soon. So we're in business. We're then saying that. The morning of the fourth or fifth day. More so in the afternoon. No, they say the fourth or fifth day. And now we're getting to where we're going to be in business. 
really uh, was a full migration of a long movement period, and it's uh, getting to where it's all right. This is what we're after. The rain is going to come in, and then we're back to this fish. That's Jerry. This was uh, where they had the contrails. This big fish was caught pretty deep, where we had the contrails above the, and they were sticking pretty good above the, uh, the snowballs. But we, that was the second or third day after it went through, and then uh, the contrails, if you see them to the right, they were up there above those. So the fish are moving for good uh, that time. It's just some fishing, and you've got to control them all, the walleyes and everything else. Uh, but uh, the main thing is that uh, when you see a good fish, you're going to see some cloud cover. And uh, uh, a lot of them is just uh, the vapor trails, just or contrails just get thicker and thicker and stay longer and uh, finally just wind up as so many of them up there just gives you a completely high serious cover. What this does is uh, uh, help those guys uh, that can't read the cloud cover so they just watch those uh, contrails and when they start spreading out and staying up there and start spreading out and start covering the sky then they know they're in business but if they look up there and they can't see a contrail and all they see is blue then they stay home, so to speak. Then they look up there, and the contrail or the vapor trail is a little bitty short devil behind that plane and disappears real quick. They know they're still in trouble. So pretty soon they learn how to read this thing. I hope this will help you out a little bit.